Okay, look how low the water is. So, I don't know if you can see the rocks, but clear past there, there's a bunch of rocks. And that out there was an old swimming hole. The dock doesn't even go out that far anymore. So, we're going to be working out in the water. I did that hunt last year, and I ended up with, I think, five silvers and a really cool um, job core ring. So, yeah, see if I missed anything. Okay, first good target. I got a penny. That kind of surprises me. Um, because I remember most of the coins out here were older. And this is a zinc. Oh, 83 though. All right. Well, there's one coin we missed. We'll see what else we missed. Well, this one had me going for a second. Hear that clinking? Thought I had a ring <laughs> like in there. No, it's just a rock and a pull tab. But I'm into a, the swimming hole deeper. And I forgot, this is like really sandy, almost like muck. And so, and there's a lot of trash in here, so I'm going to be digging a lot of trash just to see if it's masking anything that I missed. Because this was such a good spot last year. But yeah, a lot of these targets, they're like a foot deep in this muck. So, hopefully uh, <laughs> my, <laughs> my sand scoop feels a little loose. I almost wonder if I should go to the truck and tighten it up. And hopefully I don't have an accident. I do have a backup scoop in the truck, so I guess I could go retrieve this if I have a problem. See, so this is what I mean. There's some really big cans and stuff in here. But, you know, you just wonder if it's masking some money or, you know, masking some sort of jewelry. So I want to dig it out of here. So this this hair is chiming in really high. How weird that thing is. It's got a little hole. And it almost looks like it's gold plated. Or something. I mean I'm sure it's not. And it feels like a piece of trash. I don't know what that is. Okay, it's been kinda hard going. I gotta quit detecting behind myself. <laughs> Hard not to though. And you can't always travel. Wow. That sound really changed. Went from a high pound to a 12. Oh look. There was a penny. See if it's an old one. Nope, not especially old. Looks almost brand new coming out of that muck. Not a lot of oxygen getting to it. But, it's a mask and a 12. That 12 sounds pretty good. Probably just a nickel. You know? So it looks like it's a great big piece of pop can again. Alright, see what else we can get. Okay, so I did move a pop can. And underneath it was a penny. Wow, look how discolored that dime is. Here we get. It's like 76 or something. All right. Well, we're getting some stuff. Man, you wouldn't have believed how deep that ring was. So deep. What is that? That is cool. I mean, I could have swore. That was chiming like silver. And it's hard to tell because, you know, this has been down the muck, so. This could be a brass ring, which is really well preserved. Man. Yeah. I do not know. Gosh, that is a pretty ring. Is it gold? Man, yeah, let me get my. Uh, Yeah, it's ringing real high. I don't know what that's going to be. 
I'll have to check it out for a mark. I don't see one right now. Let me look. Let me look. I'll get back to you. Wow, that's pretty. Well, as of right now, I do not see a mark in it, so I guess I'll have to give you an update. All right, let's see what else we can do. Oh, just got some of these glasses, so. All right, people are definitely still swimming out this far. Look at that. I'm almost positive that's going to be a silver quarter. Oh, it's not. I can't believe it. I thought for sure. Just had that look to it. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> Well, still exciting. I was kind of expecting silver because I got like four silver coins out of here last time I came. So maybe it's got silver on the mind. Hey, that's kind of cool. Got me a bracelet. This is coming up at 20. It says 118 me. I think. I think it's probably not. Oh, let's see. It says Thai. I think it's Thai. I think it's going to be junk. But I will take a closer look at that. Either way, fun find. All right, see what else we can get. Man, I'm good at finding glasses today. Those are coming up at 10. Hey, just so you can see what I'm babbling. See how big these mud balls are? Now I think I have a high tone in this scoop. Yep, there it is, quarter. Let's see, like, I have a mine lab on full blast. Uh, of course, 65. But I have it on its most sensitive setting, and I'm barely hearing this. And I'm taking, like, three or four mud scoops to get down to those things. So, it's a workout. Look how clean these are coming up out of this muck. That's like a brand new 1963 penny. Looks like mint. Yeah, it's crazy. No oxygen can get to them. They just really get preserved. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, at least I got something to fasten my diaper with. Look at this mud ball I got. <laughs> so hard to shake out. Wear yourself out. But I do have a high turn in here. Probably just a quarter. Yep. Quota. So, you know nice to get a quarter and stuff I'm really looking for some like gold jewelry or silver jewelry so hopefully we can get some before the day's over all right I didn't expect that there was a nine at the start boom look at that got me a ring it says tungsten all right, well, at least we're getting some jewelry out here. Okay. I don't know what I got, but this is a 34. And it's supposed to be something good. Big silver ring or something. Oh, it's a big coin. Let's see what we got. Oh, that looks like a half. It is a half. Oh, nice. Uh, 
78 I think you can see the copper edge so not a silver one but not every day you dig a half dollar that's pretty cool all right so getting close to the end of the night but look at that I got me a spoon ring uh, I think it's definitely not a silver one this was coming up a 14 mostly but dude another ring boom it's a new day after work so that brass looking ring turned out to be brass so yeah, that's kind of what i thought so uh, that last hunt was just a couple hours after work i was tempted to go back there but i just been itching to get to this spot you can see uh i did quite a bit in the rocks this is actually where i found the uh diamond ring in episode i think 141 if you didn't see that go check it out man that's a cool ring but i haven't been out in the water yet this year so let's see what we can get all right i'm gonna another hike down in my scoop oh yeah should be like a quarter screaming out somewhere all right boom so I got me a chain, looks like. Okay, so. Pretty sure that's gonna be trash. But, there was another sound down in that hole, so I think there must have been a charm down there. Let's see if we can get that real quick. Nope, that was a penny down in the hole, so I don't know. I guess uh, maybe we'll get the pendant and the dig or two. Who knows? That one had me going. Oh, wow, that's a perfect gold ring sound. Didn't expect that one. Oh man, I see a wallet. What cool is that? All right. So you get <laughs> a key, wallet, chain. I might actually be able to get this back to the person. Oh, let's not show you who it is. Oh wow. I got everything in here. I got the social security number. You know what I don't have? There's no money in here. There's none that I can see. But you know, it still sucks to lose all your personal ID and everything. Oh, look at that. Skeleton. Well, maybe we can get this back to the person. Just a little update. I got a bunch of clad and everything. And I think I got somebody's uh, pendant. Dog tag, I don't know. Boom. Well, I was not expecting that. That sounded so weird. And look how far out I am. Crazy. Well, I've done super good on the clad. I haven't really got any jewelry to speak of tonight. But to add to the money part. Look at that, the dollar. Take some cold hard cash, why not? Boom. Well, as soon as I said that, next signal. Finally got some jewelry. That's a pretty gaudy earring. I'm sure that's gonna be bling, but kinda neat. All right, well, 
no precious metals on this one, but ah, doesn't happen every time. But hey, if you're liking this content, uh, hit a like, give me a comment, and subscribe so you can see more of them.